Used this a mana four inch CNC sander before and loved it. Now they've got a six inch and I'm excited to give that a try. I've already surfaced and flattened this honey locust and epoxy slab. Now I just need to get the surfacing marks removed from it. So I'm gonna use the six inch sander with some 80 grit sandpaper and we're gonna see how this thing does. I'm really excited to give it a try. Immediately, I'm noticing just how much surface area this is covering over the four inch. It might not seem like two inches is a whole lot, but this is actually covering more than double the surface area of the four inch. Look at how much extra sanding room there is on the six inch versus the four inch. It's covering 125% more per pass than that four inch sander is. It's definitely going to speed the process up. The sander comes dynamically balanced from the factory using two counterweights on either side to limit vibration. And they require no adjustment. It uses a spring on the inside to provide constant pressure on the slab, which ensures that you are sanding perfectly flat, no digging in or anything like you can get when you sand by hand. We're sanding with the grain for best results, and as we come to the end of each pass, it lifts and then moves over before it starts the next pass, allowing any sort of dust accumulation to evacuate to prevent clogging up the sanding disc. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the grain with water so that we can see how nice and even that sanding surface is. It did a really nice job with just 80 grit, but I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna see what this thing can handle and take it up to 320 grit. I'll take you through the whole process as we move up through the grits up to 320 and I'll step back and let you sit back and enjoy seeing this slab come to life. Man, that is so smooth. That sander is gonna save me a lot of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here and click right over here for more great videos.